guys so today we're going to see um, how to edit the records by using the WCF so previous session we see how to display all the records and how to um, uh, display the particular records so now uh, we have the concepts like how to um, edit the record before that I just want to explain you or give the reback recap of uh, what I done before patience okay so this cell is come from the WCF data and plus we uh, done uh, to display this data so go back to that now I just want to do the edit uh, concept so how to do that one is it today's topic so let me go and uh, create my action results everything okay. public action result edit int id okay so data uh, returning must be the same like a details page so only in um, uh, front end we're going to bind this in uh, edit for so add view this is a edit uh, template i going to select and my model is patient there is uh, no instance I going to get from here fine just uh, go and add it okay so next level I going to create the HTTP post method using a public action result yes I copied that Okay, so this I present as HTTP post attribute mm, and okay, otherwise I will tell redirect to action action name is yeah index after like submit this data let's, uh, let's push this uh, data to that and uh, my model I going to receive is patient model model nice so now uh, how to post the data by using the web client so in uh, last sessions uh, I'm showing you the tutorial with using the web uh, web client so web client is very simple you can easily extract the data using the download and you can using the uh, uh, only a three line of uh, code to um, post the data as well so I will explain you how to do that okay so I going to uh, uh, form the two string one is a base uh, URL base URL actually the service Okay, this is my service uh, plus my uh, URI additional URI that this is the path that will going to map here okay so this I copied already from my services okay now I have to build my uh, parameter so what is my parameter actually here uh, ID okay let's go and uh, um, start building the parameter
model dot id plus then my model have next experiment add name so we can uh, use some uh, good level of uh, coding level too i just want to explain you so you uh, follow some coding standard to make this work as uh, dynamic very perfectly so that you guys uh, can do by your own steps because a um, lot of uh, things will be have in uh, mindset for every people so i am just trying some simple way to explaining the tutorial concept next is so uh, data birth okay mm, fine then final not parameter that i have model dot data birth plus okay place in model dot place so i build my your end done then i going to use by using a disp why we are using a using statement that uh, you guys know already if not also i'll tell you this will help you to dispose it's a empty one so using uh, I'm going to initiate a web client instance. Web client WC equal to new web client. Okay, then use WC. So WC instance of I just mentioned is okay, no issue. Zero. Here I going to take upload string. So I going to pass my address. Address is URI. It's very simple, right? So it will be. They give a lot of uh, stuffs. So just learn it out how to implement this uh, stuffs clearly. Then the data. The data is a parameter model that you can <coughs> pass like. Uh, string variable okay fine so you want to set the header you can um, set the header also okay i just keep the header http response header content type i just mention application xw this will uh, allow you to do the cross origin allow you to access the cross origin data okay no issues